When computationally analyzing a piece of music, a good starting point is to determine the start and end times of each individual note. To manually determine this, you can plot and visually inspect the frequency spectrum, seen here, which is tedious work but accurate, or you can use some of the available audio analysis libraries. This video will show some simple examples analyzing solo trumpet music using the Python library Pi Audio Analysis. I will illustrate where it performs well, not so well, or quite poorly in recognizing the beginning and end times of notes. I hope this can help you decide whether it is an appropriate tool for your project. As you can see from the home page, this library has a fairly wide range of functionality. We will be making use of the segmentation section and specifically the silence removal and event detection function. This function makes use of a probabilistic machine learning technique to identify what it calls audio events. The important parameters of this function are the smooth window and the weight. For very dense audio files such as music, it is recommended to use a smaller smooth window and a larger weight. The result of this function is to give you the beginning and end points of each audio event segment, which will ideally correspond to the beginning and end times of each of the individual notes. Let's start with an example where Pi Audio Analysis performs very well. We will examine this recording of a trumpet playing the same note eight times. I will also use this very simple Python code using the Pi Audio Analysis function that I just discussed to print out the segment times. Let's go ahead and run this code on our sound file and see what happens. The result looks good so far. We get eight segments, hopefully corresponding to each of the eight notes in the piece. Let's take a little look at the frequency spectrum and see if these times do actually correspond to the notes. You can see pretty clearly that these times do actually correspond to the note times. So in this case, Pi Audio Analysis has performed very well for us. Pi Audio Analysis does have some limitations, which I will demonstrate in the next example. This is a plot of a, tr of a trumpet playing nine scales. Each scale consists of several notes. Let's take a look at how Pi Audio Analysis performs on this piece. The result seems a little strange because we get 10 segments, but the piece had many more notes than that. Unfortunately, each scale is seen as one segment, and one segment of noise was picked up. It cannot distinguish between the frequency changes of each note within the scale. This is because all of the notes in the scale are played with no silent periods between them. The worst example is a trumpet performing a more complex piece of music. Let's take a look at the results that Pi Audio Analysis gives for this piece. First, you can notice that there is nothing picked up between 6.5 and 7.4 seconds, even though there is clearly a continuous note being played. Similarly, nothing is picked up from 35.84 seconds to 37.66 seconds, even though notes are clearly being played in this interval. In this case, there are just too many inaccuracies to mention, and the results are not useful.
Ultimately, whether audio analysis libraries are suited for your needs can vary depending on the composition of the piece that you are studying. Hopefully this video has helped you determine whether Pi Audio Analysis is suited for your purpose and has made you aware of some of its limitations. Thanks for watching and you can subscribe for more videos.